One of the teams expected or is believed to have the balance, skill set, and the talent to be there, the Yukon Huskies. Second, you know, the second Monday of April presents that college basketball national championship. And there is few teams, I think, probably more prepared, more equipped, um, more talented than that of the Huskies. Now, the Thursday night Sweet 16 feature, Big East, Mountain West members, uh, Clash of Egos, and much different styles of basketball. The third round of the dance takes place with four games Thursday, four games Friday. Um, the game we're focusing on is the number five versus number one matchup in the NCC tournament East region. Again, San Diego State faces the Yukon Huskies. Before diving into the meat of this matchup, a big thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with the Wager Talk media team. Take a minute of your time and click on the subscribe button. I want to desperately break down the bits and the pieces of last year's Aztecs team and compare them to this year's team. But last year's assets and this year's assets on a scale opposite of the Yukon Huskies are not just different. I think they're vast and I think they're cavernous. What returns from the Huskies championships and so on and so forth what returns for the San Diego team, so forth, so yeah, 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 right? But I digress. Last year was last year. This year, or the game and the Sweet 16 matching matchup for 2024 is yet to come, yet here. The Aztecs are fueled by Ford uh, J. Don Liddy. There's a double-double machine without the average offer evidence. Trust me, a double-double machine. The fuel of this Aztecs is accompanied by guards, uh, Micah Parrish, Lamont Butler, Darion Trammell. Yes, back from last year's team, by the way. Tossing the contributions of USC transfer Reese Walters. Waters, excuse me. Um, and you and you have a team that's similar, right? Uh, not uh, This team is not dynamically offensive. They're not. Same as last year. Um, their turbo charge, at least in the fuel and the motor, is defense. Uh, for the first, well, for the third consecutive campaign, Brian Dutcher is, is uh, a team that has metrically found themselves in the top 10 of defensive efficiency. But the difference is feel and fashion. Um, last year's championship winning UConn team finished the season third in the nation in adjusted offensive efficiency and ninth in adjusted defensive efficiency. That tells you, that speaks volumes, really. The Huskies return to this sweet 16 with a profile that's as close as it's been. As really, in, in my experience and what I've remembered and what I've studied and done my due diligence for, they're the closest to any team since maybe Florida when they repeated back in the early, back in you know, the 1800s. Um, the Huskies are well-coached. They're well-coached any team. Dan Hurley, master motivator. He's a, he's a Bill Self-like uh, entity when it comes to in-game X's and O's and, and tactician. UConn, they're the better team, guys. Um, they're the better team for a couple reasons, mostly primarily because what's returning for the Aztecs is this, and that is I'll get, you'll get an argument from, from the coach and many of their followers that this is a better team. It's not. They don't shoot the three ball as well, and they're not as offensively as dynamic as they were last year. And with that, makes their defense lesser, even though their measurements, metric measurements, are close to maybe better than last year's. Um, the Huskies win by double digits on Thursday. And they do it with Stephen Castle, seven foot two, um, Donovan Klingon. Deutscher and his faithful will argue, as I said, but uh, I completely disagree with them and, and their fact that they think that they're better because their defense is, is where it was last year and they're more experienced. That's not enough. It's just not enough. If you're in this war room, this UConn versus San Diego State game with me, then I hope you are you know, basically in the same spot I am, and that is all over. The Huskies. I think the Huskies not only find a way to win, they do so in grand fashion, by margin, a large margin, a large, large margin. Huskies over the Aztecs in easy peasy fashion. I'm Tony Finn. Thanks for dropping by.